cancer globally is an increasing burden. We know that cancer is a dreaded disease, but yes, there are solutions. If you look at the overall number, almost 20 million new cancer cases are diagnosed globally each year. Almost 2.4 million are only lung cancer. So more than 10% are only lung cancer. So my discussion today is centered around lung cancer. And yes, when we diagnose lung cancer, we try to stage them as curable cancers or early stage cancer and advanced cancer. Often in our practice, more often we have advanced stage lung cancer than early stage. Unfortunately, that has been the scenario because we don't have screen detected lung cancer and therefore our job is to promote screening so that we can uh, diagnose asymptomatic lung cancer as well which are curable subset of lung cancer. Besides this, we try to treat each type of lung cancer separately. So there's a molecular subclassification which decides what will be the specific treatment we'll do. Dr. Thyanesh uh, will speak to us about the stages and how we subclassify and what are the individualized treatment we offer. So stages, uh, how we will do staging? First we will do PET scan. PET scan means head to toe scan. So it will tell where, where is the tumor location and where and all it spread. Like, and based on the PET scan, we can classify stage 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 means it's involved either opposite side of the lung or any fluid collection around the lung. It's called pleural effusion or involvement of bone or involvement of liver or involvement of brain. It's called stage 4. So stage 1, 2, 3, it is involved only in the lung and regional lymph nodes. So we used to broadly, we can classify like early stage and later stage. So the treatment uh, early stage, we do, uh, we advise surgery sometimes and sometimes if the tumor is not able to do first line surgery is not possible we will do neoadjuvant therapy so what is neoadjuvant therapy before uh, doing surgery just we will give chemotherapy or chemotherapy plus immunotherapy combination we will try to reduce the tumor size it is very easy for surgeon to remove the tumor completely so post surgery there is a certain type of treatment it is it's called adjuvant treatment so adjuvant treatment means a uh, post surgery to prevent further recurrence of tumor so adjuvant treatment either it is a chemotherapy alone or combination of chemotherapy plus immunotherapy or chemotherapy followed by targeted therapy so the question is why we should give adjuvant therapy means uh, we already removed the tumor but still you want to give chemotherapy it's a common question from patient side so whatever we are seeing in the ct scan or in the during surgery we are removing whatever you are not seeing it is called micro micro tumor means small tumor cells it can travel from one area to another area by blood or lymph node it can produce tumor in later stage so to prevent the recurrence of the tumor we have to give treatment so the treatment it's either in the chemotherapy or chemotherapy in, uh, plus immunotherapy or targeted therapy so this is curable disease so in uh, stage 4 disease so before starting the treatment for stage 4 disease we have to consider patient factor and tumor factors so patient factors like a patient performance status comorbidities and tumor factors like uh, check any targetable mutations it is there or not or immunotherapy markers are present or not all these things we got to check so for example if immunotherapy markers are expressed well we can treat with only with immunotherapy so if immunotherapy markers are expressed less still we can use immunotherapy plus chemotherapy so what is the advantage between immunotherapy and chemotherapy so immunotherapy less side effects very easy to take no hair loss, no vomiting, nothing will be there. It's very easy to take. Yes, effective as chemotherapy. Another thing is targeted therapy. So targeted therapy, most of the targeted therapy are tablet form. It is very easy to take. No need to come to hospital. Minimal side effects and regular follow-ups required. So this is the difference. So how long we are going to give treatment for uh, in metastatic disease? So metastatic disease patient required a long-term treatment and most of the chemotherapy, not in uh, immunotherapy, most of the chemotherapy all patients can tolerate very 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 minimal side effects immunotherapy very minimal side effects but 98 percentage there is no side effects anyone can tolerate so as dr thanesh rightly summarized we subclassify each person who has lung cancer into different subset every patient's treatment is individualized based on the stage based on the biologic fitness and of course based on certain markers there could be chemotherapy for micrometastatic disease which is not seen or for spread tumor which is known as macrometastatic disease for localized tumors we may want to add some form of local therapy so systemic therapy plus local therapy that local therapy could be radiation or it could be surgery which is again individualized systemic therapy could be broadly classified as newer drugs 
which could be immunotherapy drugs which modify inherent immunity it could be targeted or specifically focused drugs which only act on tumor tissue most of them are tablets and then some type of chemotherapy which are non specific uh, uh, drugs which act on fast multiplying cell so this is generally the way we plan treatment thanks so much